Hey, what up? It's Maze from Real Social Dynamics. Welcome to Kanyohe, Hawaii. And what I want to talk to you about today is creativity. So let's start with what creativity is not. Creativity is not linear. Creativity is not nose. Creativity is attached to all things. There's no boundaries. There's no nose. This won't work. Maybe not that because of this. There's no limitations in creativity. Something is possible. Every idea in the universe is connected. That is the foundation. That is what you start with. And then from that foundation, you start to attach ideas. This idea, whatever, it, it could be as opposite, as north and south as, it, as humanly possible, but in some way, those ideas are connected. And the thing you gotta understand is creativity doesn't come neatly kept in this box delivered to you. If you want creativity to come in some fashion, if you're trying to come up with a melody for a song and you start thinking about work and what happened at work that day, and that's what's flowing through your mind, but you're attached to getting this melody, you, you want it to come to you, and you're restricting yourself, you're isolating that, that idea, that work idea, like I don't want to think about work, I want this melody to come to me. When you're reaching for the creativity, it's much more restricted and it doesn't come to you. The muse doesn't come through. So don't put creativity in a box. If you're thinking about work, just go on that trail. Talk about work. What happened at work today? What was fun? What sucked? Why did it suck? Ask questions relentlessly. Talk to your friends. Flesh out your ideas with your friends. What happened that day? What do you feel about this idea? Just keep talking, just talk it out, talk it out. What is stimulating your interest? What's pulling on you? Instead of trying to push for these ideas, what is, what's tugging at you? And it can be a tiny, 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 tiny tug. It doesn't need to be this massive thing that you're passionate about and you don't, you don't need to have this, this volcano erupting. Not, creativity doesn't always start like that. You can have that, the muse could just be rushing through you, but you could just start with that little baby idea. Sometimes you get spur of the moment ideas that you just want to try. Just fucking try them. Like, I might not use this shot, but I might use this shot. So just try it out. That's a big, big aspect of creativity. The best things I come up with are mistakes. Like, the best melodies, the best music I've ever created. It's like, oh, oh shit, what is, wow, that's dope. How do I, how do I recreate that? It's, it's fumbling, it's stumbling through the, through the field, but then saying, yo, that, that was awesome, I, I love that experience, and then bringing that experience together, those fumbles, what did you learn in those experiences, and then lacing them all together. So whatever that spur of the moment idea is, just try it out, and then stack those moments together, stack those ideas, and then see what you cultivate from that. See what the, the end product is, and nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm very, very happy of at least what I learned from that experience, but even what I produced from that experience. If I put it upside down, we can just move it, right? Yeah. Or even, <laughs> what? Maybe? Questionable? Questionable. Yeah, yeah, there. That's probably not going to get you. Huh? That's probably not going to get you. Maybe here. That's fine. Where? Upside down. Where? Where? It's just not low enough. So... There. Whoa. Oh, shoot it. I want the shot. Wait, 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 wait. Experiments, man. That's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we jumped over here to Makapu, and what we're going to talk about over here is the possible hiccups that you can have when you're trying to be creative. So for me, 
I even starting with these videos, I can get very stifled because I feel like I need to look a certain way or I need to convey these ideas in a certain fashion, in a certain style. I need to talk this fast or I need to talk this slow. So you have these things that fatigue you and stifle creativity. You have your persona, what you think you should look like, judging yourself, and then should I do this thing or should I not do this thing? Decision making, fatigue, these fatigues that stifle in creativity. Anytime you engage with one of these things that stifle you, it also rubs off onto your creativity. These hiccups also correlate to game. Even this past boot camp that we had in Hawaii, we have our students, I tell them, you have decision making fatigue. You have persona fatigue. And then you have judgment fatigue. All, the, all three of these things tire you out. I told my students, trust me, when I tell you to do something, just go fucking do it. Don't think about it. And regardless of what happens, it is a win. It is a win. It doesn't matter what just happened. You go try to get a high five, fuck off. How was that? I asked, him, I asked my student, how was that? Um, she didn't give me the high five, but I, it's okay, I'm gonna go. How was that? Uh, it was a thousand out of 10. I tell them, go talk to the entire bar. Get into a flow state. They go do the exercise. They're like, oh, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better. How was that? It was amazing. I wanna see it in your physiology, in your body, especially when you're new to game. Like for me, I can say, Oh no, that was a thousand out of 10. And it'll change my thought process. It'll change how I am digesting the night and it'll keep me in a free flow state if I just say that. It'll keep me more creative. It'll allow me to problem solve. And it keeps you creative. It keeps you in a flow state and able to do that instead of saying, oh, it, it was good. Or I feel like I'm supposed to look like this. Or should I do, should I approach, should I not? Um, she's they're with a group of people, they're with, she's with her mom. No, you just go. You don't box yourself in, because that box is in your ability to be creative and actually have a great night, to actually have a flowing night. Bro, that was really hard to do, man. Really hard to do? Yeah. How'd you, how, how was it, though? It was all right. I think I probably opened like 50% of the people that I should open. Thousand out of 10. I know. Thousand out of 10. I'm, I'm aware. How was it? It was hard, bro. How was it? No, 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 no. It was a thousand out of 10. But I'm acknowledging the challenge, bro. It's not like a defeat. That's first, though. Right. It was a win. That's first. Yeah. And then you can assess. Right. Also, I have my team around me. We're working together and I want to be as efficient as possible with the time that we have out here to be, create the best product. But when you're thinking about responsibilities outside of what you're doing, of what you're practicing, of the skill set you're cultivating, then those things are a hindrance to you. Let go of all those responsibilities and just focus on what you are trying to convey. Focus on letting the muse come through you and forget about the responsibilities outside of this realm. This is it right here. This is it. Just focus on that and that is how you give the best service to your team, to the people around you, the, the people that are investing in you. All you can do is all you can do. So just do that. And if you have hiccups, they will understand as long as you're putting your best foot forward, as long as you're engaging with what you need to be engaged with that is the most fulfilling thing for you and for your team and for your craft so all this shit all that all this over here don't worry about it fuck this this is not going to do anything for you when you're trying to create it's this right here right here when you're right here be here so those are the things that will stifle you. Fuck those things. Be here, be in the moment, and just get the shit done. Now we're gonna jump over to another spot of the island. I don't know what it is yet. We're just going with the flow and keeping things 
creative, flowing, no boundaries, no boxes, and we. <clears throat> Another thing you got to take into account is trusting yourself. People will throw ideas at you and you want to welcome that as well. I welcome the ideas from my team. I tell them to tell me, what is your take on this? But at the same time, what is your vision? Stay true to that vision. If you let people just bombard you with ideas, it can throw you off as well. So while simultaneously taking feedback and taking ideas, have a very clear vision of what you want trust that and then just go for it so how do you induce creativity I'm doing it right now whenever I'm in the deepest ruts I am just like life is just shit no creativity at all I walk I'm movement I'm doing it I'm climbing right now but <laughs> typically when I'm not I almost falling off the cliff. I'm just losing my hat. I just walk, 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 walk. Moving. Movement. Movement. Movement is creativity. Anytime I'm stuck, I'm in the deepest, deepest ruts. I will just walk and 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 fucking walk till I just flush out all the cortisol in my body, all the stresses in my body. I just, I let them run through my mind and just dissipate as I just keep moving, just moving, moving, moving till my feet hurt. I don't even pick a place. I just walk and then when I feel I'm dead tired, I'm about to fall asleep, I walk back. Movement is it's so, 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 so key. If I need to come up with a melody and I can't come up with a melody, walk. Listen to music. Oh, this it, it'll come to me. Slowly, but it will come. And I trust in the process. I trust in the fact that one step after another will bring the muse through me. So movement. So fucking key. So key. And how does this apply to game? Never stand still. Super simple. People don't even think about it. Like just walking to induce create massive creativity. Not baby shit, but massive creativity. If you appreciate the process, if you let creativity be and you don't try to grab hold of it. Whenever I'm in the game, whenever I'm in the venue, day gaming, whatever it is, I'm always moving. I'm tapping my foot, bobbing my head. I could be bouncing off the walls, but I'm doing something. The moment you stand still and you're stagnant, get in your head you're, you're not thinking you're stuck you're a fucking rock you're not the waves you're the rock you want to be the waves same thing for your thought process keep that shit moving don't harp on anything so when something comes into your your field of awareness and you do it let's say you just go start talking to a girl or a group of girls and they blow you off don't fucking analyze that set right then and there. Take it for what it is, which is a win, it's a win, and then you move on to the next thing. You don't harp on one thing. That will get you stuck as well. And by harp, I mean like analyzing it from each, each direction. That's not the time to do that. There's a time for self-reflection and there's a time for creativity to just come through respect both those processes another thing is to just keep talking maybe you're saying stupid shit it doesn't matter as long as you're talking something will come through something will click it might not be that girl it might not be the click for you it might not be your blueprint you might not think it's funny but as long as you just keep your mouth moving something will click something will come to you at some point but that's not the time for analysis just talk just talk just talk just talk and when you're stuck, what is in your RES? What do you see right in front of you? What's on your mind at that moment? Stupid as it is, whatever it is, just blurt that out. Just keep moving, 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 moving. Another way to induce creativity is talking it out, fleshing out your ideas with the people around you. Mentoring. What are the, the holes that you see in somebody trying to cultivate a skill set? 
that you know more about. Like, I'm training my team right now, and they know some aspects of shooting that I don't even know. And they'll see me shoot, and they'll say, yo, you could do this, this is how you do that, this is how you get the light perfectly, you wanna use this shutter speed for this, uh, this moment, yada, 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 yada. At the same time, I have more experience in other ways, especially in the way that I wanna get my shot. So I can instruct them in those, those gaps that they have, and I see where they're not seeing connections, and it refines my ability to connect one idea to another idea. So mentoring, talking your ideas out, fleshing them out, induces that creative state. You're bouncing ideas off of somebody else. That is so key. I come alive when I'm bouncing ideas off of somebody else. When I'm bouncing a melody off of somebody else, or a line, or a lyric, or a project that we're gonna work on, which is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It, it induces this, this diffused focus, this open focus, where you're not just locked into one thing, but loosely connected to everything coming into your field of awareness. And you pull all these things together. It's so invigorating to be in that state where you're just bouncing ideas off of your peers, your mentors, even people that are fucking with you, just whatever, whoever it is, bouncing ideas off of them. How do they respond to you? What can you take from this, this moment? Even if you don't like the moment, what can you take from it? What can you learn from this moment? What can you learn from the bum on the street? How are they responding to you? How are they responding to other people? What does that say about them? What does that say about you? How you're thinking about it? All these ideas are connected in some way and just bouncing ideas back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Some people, especially me, if I'm in a rut, then I'm stuck. I'm not as creative. I'm not as creative. So going out and doing things that I enjoy, hiking, being stupid, shooting the shit with my boys, making music, going out and pimping just for, just for fun, teaching. All these things put me in the zone. I know my blueprint. I do the things that I like and do the things that fulfill me. And then in turn, my brain is on my side. I, I get these wins and I stack them back to back to back. And now I have access to more of my faculties. I have access to all the experiences I've had in my life and I can connect those experiences together with what I see right in front of me. So I hope that gives you some, some sense of where you are, what, your, what creativity is to you. I'm defining what creativity is to me and how I go about it, how I interpret it, how I experience it. But what is creativity to you? Even though I'm saying these things, make the connection to your experiences in your life and don't box it into just this video. Think for yourself connect the ideas. Now the last thing I want to leave you with is just giving creativity its own space. Give it its time. Okay? Don't fucking rush it. Let it come to you. Maybe you don't know exactly how it's going to come into your life. It's, you don't know how creativity is going to show itself. You don't know if it's going to be a fucking storm. You don't know if it's gonna be a rainbow, but whatever it is, allow it to come in its own time. Do not rush it. Let it be, and it'll come to you. The muse is your friend. It's everyone's friend. It's not exclusive to this person or that person. It's there for everybody. So respect it. And when it is there, don't neglect it. I'll do a little, a little rhyme right quick. When it is there, when you have that hint of the muse coming through, when that melody is starting to come to you, flesh it out. Don't disrespect it. Go dive into that feeling. Because the more and more that you put it off, that, oh, I'll get this, oh, that's a great idea. Let me not write it down or tell my friend about it or try to go flesh it out and do this thing, whatever it is for you, the more it's not gonna show itself to you. So give creativity its space, give the music its space, and don't neglect it when it comes to you. That's what I wanted to share with you on this trip. 
Until next time, much love.